conflict of interest occurs when an individual's personal interests, family, friendships, financial, or social factors could compromise his or her judgment, decisions, or actions in the workplace. Government agencies take conflicts of interest so seriously that they are regulated. Unless you happen to be in Canada, then it's not taken very seriously at all. To grow their charity, the Kielbergers needed to forge relationships with politicians, wealthy families, and wealthy corporations. But as their own employees would soon discover, selling virtue can be complicated. This is a story of the deals they made and the price we paid. That we have been waiting for. One of their most innovative approaches to fundraising was creating a traveling feel-good festival called We Days, bringing together actors, singers, and politicians, and one aspiring one. But every year we turn away nine... Even before Justin Trudeau ran for office, the Kielbergers invited him to their first We Day. And after he was elected in 2008, he was back on the We stage. Let me tell you that this room right here makes a very powerful statement. But back then, Trudeau knew how much he benefited from dropping Craig Kielberger's name. Because it's easy, as my friend Craig said, to feel overwhelmed by the amount of information, the amount of knowledge and news that we're being bombarded with all the time, and feel very small faced with the huge issues that we're facing around the world, to say, well, what, what can I do? Thank you very much. Merci, mes amis. And it was a relationship that would grow into a family affair. As Trudeau became prime minister, his wife, his brother, and his mother, all included on the We Day stage. But little did they know the rising stars and their relationships were on a collision course. Last summer, the Trudeau government announced they had chosen We Charity to run a massive volunteer program for students involving hundreds of millions of dollars. It didn't take long for the opposition to pounce. Why did the We Charity get that contract? Yes or no? We are not paid. By yes or no? Those organizations. That wasn't my question. Yes sure. or no? The Kielberger brothers, Craig and Mark, will be in the hot seat. Right. That, was, that wasn't the question. That wasn't the question. The question was, did the prime minister personally call? A visit to the WE organization's head office in downtown Toronto reveals their new reality. Their Canadian operations shuttered. Employees long since let go. Though dozens of them, many disillusioned, spoke to us about WE's fall from grace. As for the Kielbergers, they speak of their accomplishments now in the past tense. So what do we got here? So we welcome school groups here, typically before COVID, uh, two school groups a day, morning and afternoon. 2015, anticipation was in the air. We day! Are you ready for a special guest? For the founders of the WE Charity, Mark and Craig Kielberger, this was a crowning achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Trudeau was sworn in less than a week ago as Canada's 23rd Prime Minister. Today, he'll be taking the We Day stage along with his wife, Sophie Gregoire Trudeau, and is their first public appearance since their swearing in ceremony here at We Day. How cool is that? So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, with a big We Day welcome, the Right Honourable Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau and his amazing wife, Sophie Gregoire-Trudeau. It was a well-choreographed moment for the Kielbergers and the Trudeaus, uniting their powerful brands of youth, hope, and change. What they didn't know is how much this relationship would change their lives forever. It was 142 days from the day the Trudeau government contacted the Kielbergers to run that student program to the day they announced they were shutting down their Canadian charity. We Charity had become the We Charity scandal. Owning responsibility, uh, acknowledging. You know, we made mistakes, we owned it, and, and we'll continue to own it. We were incredibly blindsided at multiple points by this. We were uh, naive on the politics, we were naive in how this was going to be seen. We, we own all of that. I just, I, I wish others would also own their side of it. Well, especially the politicians. We were politically mugged, but not just us. All these young people were politically mugged in the process. You know, you look at all... You start putting together all the pieces and realize how bad this looked, that you did have what appeared to be an inside, cozy relationship with the Liberal government. I'll acknowledge that I and Mark, we were politically blind how that would be seen. Full acknowledgement of it.